What's going on guys? It's Sunday, July 30th, and it is chick moving day. Typically when you move chicks into a coop, you usually wait till night, till everyone's roosting, you introduce them, that way there's no sort of conflict, there's no fighting amongst the roosters, anything like that. But we did not brood our own chickens, so we don't really have that option. This is when we have time to do it. So we're gonna make it happen this afternoon. Seven in total, that'll put our flock up to 15, um, which in several months we should have tons of eggs. All right guys, we got the chicks. We got some new sawdust, but first we gotta feed the pigs, keep them out of our hair a little bit while we do this. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, open up this can, We've got some wood chips there, sawdust. We're gonna throw that stuff in as bedding. Good to see broody hens gone. Better get that egg. So basically what I do is just take this, dump it in there and kick it around and that's all you gotta do. Get right in. Sprinkle it around. Don't overthink it. Chickens will scrap, so they'll, they'll move it all where they want it. But definitely get clean stuff in the egg boxes. I had this feed dish yesterday when I cleaned the coop and pigs carried it about 30 yards away. I like to do stuff like that. But anyway, we're gonna put some feed in here. That way when we do let the birds in, hopefully they just start to eat and they don't panic. They don't go right out the, the other side. All right, here we go. First chick, it's another one, Rhode Island Red. This is the one that we hatched out. We'll see kind of what that one is. Another black one. Simple as that, guys. You can see they can all congregate in a corner. That's normal. They're definitely uh, gonna have to adjust a little bit, get acclimated to what their new home is, and hopefully they hang out in the coop a little. My biggest concern is that they do hop out. I can't really have a ramp here because, well, because the pigs are in there. But with all the benefits of the pigs, I can live with that one. I just hope these guys figure out how to get back in. The only other concern I would have here would be when the bigger chickens come in, but I think these will be in here long enough. It shouldn't be an issue. Sometimes the roosters can be a little rough, but I think we'll be okay. You know what, decided to throw that old ramp up there anyway. Hopefully the pigs don't find it again. Sheep are loving the day. Beautiful day. Molly, Molly, Molly. Here, girl. All right, guys, there you have it. Chick day, easy as that. More egg production, seven birds in the coop. We're gonna have 14 egg layers at this point, meaning about a dozen eggs a day in the coming months. It's just at the store today. A dozen eggs of organic pasture-raised eggs for about $5 on the cheap end. Our quality out here is priceless. Mix them in with the pigs, getting all the, the good nutrients that they're getting out here on the pasture. Can't beat it. We're looking at about 2.30 this afternoon. So plenty more work to do. Thinking about where we're gonna weed whack around the, the property a little bit. Probably get in a, a good cooked dinner tonight. It is Sunday, so enjoy the weather. We'll see what the rest of the day brings us. Oh, the pigs got out. Pig, pig, come on. Pig, pig, <laughs> get going. Got a bucket of feed just in case. Oh, what'd you guys do? Busted my gate off. And just like that, bad things happen. I was making dinner. 
My daughter was looking out the window, started yelling, there's piggies in the yard. What is going on here? They're all out. Do you see? Oh, look at my birds. My <laughs> bird feeder. Are they following daddy? And they did it again. Well, it's been an eventful evening. The pigs got out twice. So, had enough of that. We're gonna kind of rig something up so they can't get the gate off the pins. So I'm thinking if I put a screw right in there, kind of above that, it won't be able to lift, it won't be able to lift that gate up over. So that's what we're gonna try to do. That should probably do it. So I think it's a simple solution, but I tried it myself, couldn't lift it up over there unless that screw would bend and I really don't think that's happening. Put one at the bottom as well for good measure. So I think we're in business. Another peaceful Sunday evening on the farm. Just got done eating dinner. Sure enough, we see the whole army of pigs out there funny to look at, but uh, yeah, we can't have that continue to happen.